So guys, check this out. This is so cool. What's up guys, Steven here. Welcome back to another video. And today we are going to unbox something really huge right over here. So well, you probably have heard about LG's rollable OLED TV, which is now hitting the market. And well, they are pricing it at $60,000. And this is absolutely ridiculous. For sure, it's a first generation device, but if you're after something for a huge screen that can roll down and bring you a nice picture, I'll show you today a much better solution. And this here is a rollable projector screen. It's not a cheap one, it's a really high quality one. And if you have a 4K ultra short throw projector, then you can get a super nice looking image, really bright with that screen. So let's go and let's check it out. So guys, there we go. And as you can see, here is the package. And wow, it's really huge and heavy. So this thing is around 30 to 40 kilograms. So it's really a huge project to screen, really high quality. And well, um, this came directly from China with DHL Express, so just imagine that. Now the customs, they were a little bit suspicious uh, because the package is that huge and heavy. But well, um, you can definitely order it from China, no problem. If you choose Express shipping, it was actually here under one week. And yeah, you can also check out if they're local retailers. I'll leave your link down below, but now, Let's go and let's unbox it. All right, guys, so let's get this done and let's open it up and let's check out how it looks on the inside. And well, it's actually very good packed, you know. Um, it's very um, problematic sometimes when you get such big things from China. First of all, you have high transportation costs, but actually the shipping from Vividstorm was pretty reasonable. And second of all, I'm always a little bit worried that it gets damaged, but well, this was shipped out with DHL Express and um, it's actually one of the most expensive shipping companies but at least they are getting the job done and as you can see not a single dent here on the package and that is looking pretty good. So I'll quickly now remove all the plastic and everything and then let's see how it looks on the inside. Alrighty so the package was looking pretty good and now let's open it up and let's check out how it looks on the inside. So well, um, there's a lot of packaging material. This is crazy. A small micro USB cable. Um, we'll check out later what this is for. And yeah, so sorry guys, I still have to remove a lot here of that crap to actually see what's inside. Thank you for purchasing our products. Please read the manual carefully before using. Um, yeah, manual, okay. All right, then now let's get to the actual screen. Oh my God, this is heavy. This is probably the most exhausting unboxing ever. So guys, let me quickly show you what I found inside of the box. Now, first of all, a user manual. Well, it's a pretty short one because um, the project screen is actually very simple. Then here we have the remote control. And as you can see, the remote control is really basic. So all it needs to do is, this is screen down, this is stop, and this is screen up. And also there is a little mounting plate, which you can wall mount. There are also screws and um, double-sided tape included. So you can stick it to the wall, slide the remote in um, for your screen if you want to do that. Now, if you don't want to use the remote, they included this nice trigger USB drive. So this is, um, looks actually like a USB drive. It's called in the user manual a 12 volt trigger, but actually, well, I would say it's a five volt trigger because when it's connected to USB and um, the pro of the projector and the projector turns on, this basically sends a signal to the projector screen to raise. So whenever you turn on the projector, it will also, um, yeah, fold up the screen, which is pretty cool. So that's actually a very smart thing. Now, then we have a couple of screws here because there's a wall mount included. You can also mount it into the ground with the screws, but actually it's really heavy, you don't need to. So for wall mounting, screws and the kit is included. There was a, a micro USB cable included to charge the remote. So the remote has a little micro USB port right over here, so you can charge it. That's pretty smart as well. This, now I know what this is for, this is actually to clean the screen. Because, well, in the user manual they state, don't wipe it with your hands, don't touch it, probably you will break it. Just wipe off a little bit of the dirt, which makes sense to me. And yeah, um, then here we have um, the cable for power. 
And last but not least, we have this fancy thing right over here, which looks a little bit weird, but this is actually to adjust um, how far the projector screen should roll out. So you can slide this in, make it stop, and yeah, I think I won't need it because my room is really high. But la uh, last but not least, there was also this included what I've shown you before. So a little bit of that material. And if you check this out, this is actually really, really, really good material. So um, very stretch resistant, looks like pretty good quality. And now I'd say, let's check out the screen. Now guys, this is the left end of the projector screen. And as you can see right over here, here we have the power switch. Um, here the power cable, and this is a manual switch, just in case you don't want to use the remote control or the remote control is broken or the trigger switch doesn't work. Um, the cable which is coming out right over here is the IR receiver. So it's not a Bluetooth remote or something, it's an IR remote. That means you should place it somewhere where you can actually point with the remote control to. And last but not least, what you can see here at the bottom, if you fold this out, are actually the ground mount to wall mount. So this is pretty smart. Now actually I meant on your ceiling because on your wall it wouldn't make sense. But anyhow, um, they also included a second remote. So for some reason um, I had two remotes in my bag. So this is a black one as you can see. I'm not sure if this one is also included in the regular retail package, but yeah. Now I would say let's give it some power and then let's see how it looks when it folds up. Alrighty guys, so it's now a few days later, I could already play around a little bit with the screen and well so far it's working really good. Now the first time I was a little bit scared because it was not sliding out correctly, but well, it was actually unrolling the whole screen for the first time and after the first time it was actually working really well. And I tried it out a couple of times, played around with the remote control and you really have to point to the IR receiver. If you point in this direction, the remote is not working. If you point in the direction of the IR receiver, as you can see, it is working. So that's the only thing, but the IR receiver has a pretty long cable so you can put it directly in, into the front and then it's working fine. Now, um, the screen material, if you check this out, um, the light is coming from here. It actually breaks the light a little bit. You see a little bit of uh, the RGB colors right over there. And yeah, um, it's a really cool screen because it's actually um, removing the environment light and um, it's only accepting or mostly accepting the light from the projector, which is then here in front of the projector. And well, I've also already seen it at the CS 2020 and it's looking really, really gorgeous. So I can't wait for the projector. Overall, it is also very stable and also very robust. So as you can see, I can put my hand on it even when it slides up. So also very strong motors and the build quality is very good. It's not the cheapest screen on the market. I totally agree here, but in terms of quality, I would say it's the best affordable screen on the market. Alrighty guys, so we're now here at the end of this quick installation and unboxing video. And so far I have to say, it's a really good looking project to screen. Now, first of all, it is huge and the price, well, it's actually reasonable. Now, if you get a projector without a screen, it really sucks. I tried a lot of ultra short for projectors from LG, the HF85JW or something. And if you use a wall to do that, well, you don't get the full brightness, you don't get all the beautiful colors. And if the wall is not 100% straight, you will see it in the image. And yeah, a projector screen can really help you to get the most out of your ultra short for a projector or on any kind of projector. Then also, well, the material, it looks kind of good, to be honest. Um, it's super easy to use, so just, yeah, press the button, it slides down, and as you can see, it is really, really smooth. I've seen some really cheap projector screens, also where you can, um, yeah, control them via a remote control, but then either it's really slow or it kind of hangs sometimes, but here I think the mechanism is really, really good. So, um, because of the whole coronavirus crap, um, I couldn't get my projector and also they closed some of the borders to Austria. So I really hope that Balas from Hungary can actually come here with the projector next week. If he can't come to, um, to Austria, then actually we have to wait a little bit. But let me know down below in the comments which project do you want to see. I'm actually looking into very entry level ultra short for projectors because this is a very interesting topic. LG now has an ultra short for a projector for 400 euros and I would really like to see how it looks on such an ex expensive screen compared to the projector for sure. 
Um, then also I want to get a high-end projector and my recommendation right now is the Vava projector. It's a 4K projector from the USA, around $2,000 price point and I saw it at the CES with this screen and trust me guys, it is looking absolutely fabulous. It's just looking like real television. It's super bright and with the screen it looks amazing. So um, these are actually the projects, projectors I'm looking at but if you have some more suggestions let me know down below in the description. Alrighty guys, I'm really looking forward to bring you the next um, video and there will also be a few projector reviews coming very soon, if Corona doesn't get worse for sure. But well, um, as always guys, big thanks for watching. Check out the links down below if you're interested into the screen. And once again, big thanks to VividStorm for sending out this projector screen also for future projector reviews. As always guys, I'm Steven from Tech Magnet and I'll catch you in the next one. Have a nice day and bye.